So if you have a PDF document and you want to be able to open it in Excel and be able to change and edit some of the things in the table, I'm going to show you two different methods. One's free, one will cost a little bit of money, but they're the easiest methods to be able to convert a PDF for an Excel document. Let's jump in. So the first method I'm going to show you is through Adobe Acrobat. This costs a little bit of money. It's part of the package with Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, if you have that. By far is the easiest and most robust version of that. The other option that I'm going to show you later is with Acrobat Reader, which is free. Anybody can download that, but it's just limited in how it works. But there is a kind of a workaround that we can do, but I'm going to show you both methods. All right, with Adobe Acrobat, open, you want to navigate to the PDF that you're looking to open. In my case, it's a recent file because I was testing this out. So we're going to open this. So we're going to double click and you see that it opens here. I'm going to go to full screen. So you can see this is just a weekly chore list, but I want to be able to change some of this stuff and it's not letting me do that within here. And then you see over here on the side, you have all your tools listed. We're going to go to export PDF. We're going to click on that. And it gives you a couple options. And right within there, there is Microsoft Excel. So what we're going to do is it's going to convert it from a PDF to the XLSX, which is the Excel version. So we're going to click on that. It's going to have us navigate where we want to go to do that. I'm just going to say we're going to add it into the documents. You can change the name. I'm going to keep the name the same just to keep track of that. Click on Save. And you can see down here in the corner, it's initializing the export engine. So it's converting all of this, it's analyzing the document to make it into an Excel. Now, what it does, because I already have Excel installed on the computer, is it automatically opens it into Excel. And so we're gonna take a look at here. And now when we go into this, we can change these out. Maybe this was me, I did that chore, right? You can now save it and you can save it as just an Excel. So you save it there or save as a new file, or you can save it back to a PDF if you wanna do that, okay? So that by far is the easiest method, but again, Adobe Acrobat costs a little bit of money and maybe you don't wanna spend the money or maybe you don't have the money to spend on that. We're just gonna say don't save. So the other option is with Acrobat Reader. So you're gonna go into your browser, in your search bar, just go Acrobat, Acrobat Reader, okay, and you can see download came up as an option, so we're going to click on that. Download Adobe Acrobat Reader, click on that, and download. You can open that or launch it. I'm going to launch that, and it is preparing to install. It's installed. Once again, we're going to navigate to that PDF file, so we're going to double click on that. Now, in Adobe Acrobat Reader, it's not going to give you the option to export it directly into Excel. But what you can do is we're just going to take, we're going to highlight all of these cells, and we're going to right-click. We're going to go to Copy with Formatting. Okay. Then we're going to open up Excel. We're going to click on New, Blank Document. Okay. And then you're going to click, right click right up in the top left hand corner. And then we're just going to go to paste. All that information is in there, but you can see it's a little out of order. It's just a matter of getting it sort of moved around to the way you want it. This is why this is not the best option, but it, it will certainly get the job done for free. It's just going to take a little bit more work. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the column there. And we're going to go up to data and we're going to go to text to columns. Okay. And it pops up here. And what we want to do is we're going to click the choose delimitate option and click next. And here you want to select the spaces as delimiter. And the preview down here will kind of show you how that's all going to lay out. And then you go to next and you can change the format or how you want that to go and you go finish. All right, so now you have all these sort of broke up into different columns based on where the spaces were. You can see we have like the days of the week are down here and the dates are down here. It might take some manual moving some things around just a bit to get it to look the same. And we lost the formatting, but you can add that back in by changing the colors of the fields as you want and get the job done. So if you have one document with a little bit of information on it that you want to convert 
free, you can do that. But by far, the easiest method is through the Adobe Acrobat if you're able to purchase that. So I hope this video helped you out to be able to convert your PDFs into Excel and be able to edit them from there. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.